Hi guys, Laura O'Reilly here at Potentialize Me Yoga, where we want to help you feel your best. So I got a request from Colette, who is going biking across Europe, for a video she can do while she's on her travels. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to start out in a seated position, and if you can sit like this, sit on your knees with your bum back to your heels to help stretch out the quadriceps, because you use those a lot when you're cycling. Ground down through your sitting bones, get tall through your spine, and take your focus inward. Take a moment to arrive on your mat. Feeling the breath move through your body. Notice how your breath feels as it enters the nostrils. Now switch your attention to the sensation of the air leaving the nostrils. And notice if you have a difference in temperature. Perhaps you can feel how the air is cool as you inhale and warm as you exhale. Follow the breath down into the belly and feel the belly 360 degrees. Imagine you have a balloon-like quality through the belly the side body and the back body, and as you inhale, feel your belly inflate. As you exhale, feel the belly deflate, drawing in and down. Follow your inhale all the way up into the chest, broaden across the collarbones. And exhale the shoulders away from the ears. Last few breaths here, noticing what you feel, noticing how you feel. Slowly flutter the eyelids open, coming back into the room. Interlace your fingers, point your index fingers, inhale, lift the arms up, lift the chest up, look up, arch the back. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the navel to spine as you press out through the palms. Inhale, lengthen and rise. Exhale, tuck and curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Let this movement flow with your breath. Hold in your curl here. Take a big breath in and out. In and out. One more time. Release the hands. Oh, let's drop back into child's pose. You take the knees nice and wide. Send the hips back towards the heels. And walk the arms out long in front of you. Can 
and allow the head to rest on the floor as you reach the hands and the hips in opposite directions. Find the expansive quality of the breath, inhaling to lengthen and fill. And exhaling to soften and release. Look towards your hands, slowly draw your weight forward. Spread your fingers nice and wide, index fingers to 12 o'clock. Tuck the toes under and send the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Start by finding the length through the spine. So really press out through your knuckles. Spin your elbow pits up towards the sky. Bring a little bend to the knees and then send the hips, send the chest back towards the heel. Might feel nice to pedal out the heels if you have tight hamstrings from the cycling. And find a spot that you can maintain. Find a spot where you're still strong. And the weight is evenly distributed between your hands and your feet. And come back to your breathing. Grab your right leg, step it between your hands, and drop your back knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink into your hips. Draw your left hip forward and your right hip back. Lift the sternum. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Slowly release the hands to the mat. Keep the left hand down, open through the right arm, and look towards your right thumb. Reach the hands in opposite directions. Opening the chest. And staying with your breath. Release your right hand down, step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Big breath in, side out. In and out. One more time. Pick up your left foot, step it forward. Drop your right knee. Squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, sink into those hips. Drive the right hip forward, the left hip back. Pull the pit of the belly in and up. Lift the sternum, look up. Bring your right hand down, open your left shoulder, reach your left arm up and look towards the thumb. Slowly release the hand down. Step the right foot to meet the left and fold forward. Feet underneath the hips. Crown the head, sinking towards the floor. And you can shake your head out. And take your 
elbows into the palms of your hands. And if it feels good to add some gentle movement here, feel free to sway from side to side. Release your hands, press down to your feet, pull the belly in, and slowly rag all up to standing. The shoulders and the head are the very last things to rise. And as they come up, let's roll the shoulders up and back. Right, turn with the length of your mat and take your feet parallel to each other. So imagine your feet are on some really wide train tracks. Ground down through the outer edges of the feet. Get tall through the spine. Pull the pit of the belly in and up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Bring your hands down to the floor. If you need to bend the knees a little, you're welcome to do that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Let the crown of the head reach towards the floor. As the head comes down, continue pressing out through the feet. Imagine that you can pull the mat in opposite directions. And then notice where your weight is. Bring some of the weight forward into the balls of your feet and walk your hands closer in line with your toes or your heels. Halfway lift, look at your right toes, open them, out, open them out to the side, bend your right knee and walk your hands over on the inside of the foot. Let your chest come down towards the floor. If you like, you can take your right hand and place it on the outside of the foot. Leaning a little bit of the knee weight into the shoulder and the shoulder back into the knee. One more time, imagine you can pull the mat in opposite directions with the feet. The hand is tucked behind the foot. Walk it in. Start to straighten that leg, pivot the toes back to 12 o'clock, and then walk over to the left side. Pivot the left toes out, bend the knee, and drop the chest towards the floor. Last breath here. Come back through center. Pivot the right toes in. Bring the hands to the hips. Charge down through the feet and rise up. I'm going to pivot all 10 toes to 12 o'clock. Take the back foot on a little bit of a 45 degree angle. Square the right hip forward and the left hip back. Bring your hands behind your back, pressing the palms into each other, and drawing the elbows in opposite directions. So find a little bit of opening through the front of the chest or the area just around the shoulder blades. Take a big breath in. Exhale, start to fold towards your lengthened leg. As you come down, Keep 
we're reaching the elbows away from each other. Press down through the inner edge of the front foot, outer edge of the back foot. And one more time, left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come a little deeper. Press down through the feet. Slowly come up to standing. Step the right foot forward. And release the hands. Big breath in and out. Step the left foot back. Left foot on a 45 degree angle square and the left hip forward and the right hip back. So if you need a wider stance for stability, go ahead and give yourself that. Option to take the palms into each other one more time or to interlace the fingers behind the back. If you're interlacing the fingers, make sure you don't lock out the elbows. Keep a softness to them. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, start to come forward. Draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come a little deeper. Press down evenly through both feet. If it's accessible, you can start to bring the hands up over top of the head, or however far is comfortable through the front of your chest. One more breath here. And ground down to rise up. Release the hands, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Shoulders over top of your wrists. Heels over top of the balls of the feet. Slide your shoulders away from your ears. Tuck your tailbone under and look forward. Big breath in and out. In and out. One more. Take your knees down. Slide the shoulder blades together. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly lower, don't let the belly drop. Point the toes to the back of the mat, squeeze the elbows together, and press down through the hands to gently lift your chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Broaden across the front of the chest. Stay for one more breath. Slowly lower down. Make a little pillow for your head. Come back to your breathing. Second round, slide your hands on either side of the rib cage. Magnetize the elbows towards each other. Look forward. Draw your chin in a little bit. Give yourself a little bit of a double chin to protect the neck. And start to lift the sternum. Slowly lower down, bend the knees, hips to heels, resting in child's pose.
Bring the hands closer to the face. Press yourself up to seated. And sweep your legs out long in front of you. Connect your sitting bones with the earth. Flex your toes towards your face. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and come forward. Inhale, look in the direction of your toes. Exhale, come a little deeper. Slowly unravel up to seated. Bend your right knee, tuck your right foot into your left thigh. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Slowly walk yourself up the left leg. Take your right foot into the floor, hug your right knee with your left elbow, and then open your right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And this twist is coming from the chest rather than the neck. If you're getting any feedback from the neck of the jaw, you can look back towards your knee. Slowly bring your gaze back to the left leg. Release your right leg out long. And chill away for the feet a couple times. And let's set up on the opposite side. Left foot tucks in. Right toes flex. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Slowly walk yourself up the leg. Your left foot into the floor. Use your right arm to hug the knee towards the body and then open through your left shoulder. Root down through your sitting bones. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Slowly bring your gaze through center. Release both legs long and come down onto your back. Kick the soles of the feet together, let the knees butterfly open. Broaden across the chest and let the palms face the sky. Allow the eyes to softly close as the weight of the body surrenders into the floor. The head 
neck gets heavy. The jaw and the throat soften. As the softening melts down into the chest. Shoulders get heavy. The arms get heavy. And this relaxation slides into the palms of the hands, the back of the hands, and out each finger. Feel the natural curves of the spine as the breath moves in and out of the belly. Invite pure, clean energy into the hips with your inhale. As you exhale, allow the thighs, the knees, and the low legs to melt towards the floor. Feel the outer edges of the feet surrendering to the earth. As any worries or cares melt out, the soles of the feet. With each breath, you fall deeper into softness. Deeper into stillness. Start to deepen the breath. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Roll out the wrists. Draw the knees into center. And then take the hands onto the knees, making some little clockwise circles. circles in the opposite direction, massaging the low back, giving the hips a little bit of love. And the next time you come over to one side, just roll off into the fetal position and rest here for a few cycles of breath. Press down with the hands, slowly make your way up to seated. Turning down through your sitting bones, getting tall through your spine. Take a big breath in, let it go. In, 
and out. One more time. Thank you for practicing with me today. And we hope that this practice helps you to feel your best. Namaste. And if you have any requests of your own, feel free to email me or message me or call me or tell me in class what you'd like. And I'll do a video up on YouTube for you here. Okay, thanks guys.